AITA for not inviting my unsupportive sister to my wedding? I, 24F, got engaged to Derek, 30M, one month ago, prior to that, we had known each other for six months. I know that's not a long time, but when you know, you know, we are madly in love and ready to commit ourselves to each other fully. My sister, 26F, has a problem with that though. She was supportive of my relationship with Derek before we got engaged. When I sent her a text telling her we were engaged, she responded by saying, congratulations. But then when I saw her the week after that, she got all serious and said I should strongly consider the marriage. She told me I was young and could meet people I loved more. That was offensive to me because I love Derek more than anything. And she's basically saying my love isn't that important. She also told me that Derek and I could date for longer before we got married. But we are already fully committed to each other. So we might as well get married and be recognized as soulmates in the eyes of the law. Anyway, the conversation was so hurtful to me. I eventually asked her, very directly, do you support me marrying Derek? She said no, so I stood up, told her she shouldn't be at the wedding if she didn't want us to get married and left. I haven't talked to her since. Although she has texted me multiple times asking to talk. Derek and I were working on the wedding guest list yesterday. And we both agreed my sister should not come if she doesn't support us. So we are planning not to invite her. I mentioned this to my friend yesterday. And she pointed out that it may be a little rude of me not to invite her. So, AITA for not inviting my unsupportive sister to my wedding? I don't know if YTA per se, but I think you're being very naive and I agree with your sister. YTA, you're upset because your sister expressed honest concern. Your response was childish, and kicking her out of your wedding is equally so. Info. How much about Derek do you know? Because I feel like your sister may be right about not wanting you to get married. I mean you've only dated 6 months and he pops the question. That's very suspicious if you ask me. YTA. Getting married is not being recognized as soulmates in the eyes of the law. You don't have a realistic view of what marriage is. Your sister is supporting you by giving you the best advice she can. Are you willing to torpedo your relationship with your sister forever because she hurt your feelings regarding your relationship? If your relationship is meant to last, it will survive a reasonable amount of time before the wedding. Think carefully before you overreact to your sister's words of caution. YTA, I'm sorry, but six months ain't enough. What's people's problems with waiting? I don't get it. Y'all can't be madly in love for like a year or something. Cold sweat smile. Also, your sister is just concerned. It doesn't mean she doesn't like your fiancé or is unsupportive of y'all's relationship. Just the getting married so fast part. YTA, and she's not being unsupportive of your relationship, she's being supportive of you. YTA. Your sister said nothing negative about Derek or your love for one another. She gave you incredibly good advice. If my 24-year-old sister got engaged after only a few months of dating, I'd give the same advice too. It's concerning to me how readily you and Derek are to cut your sister out. This is a big red flag to me. You've been together 6 months? Are you even living together yet? This is just way too rushed. There's no reason to dive headfirst into a legally binding agreement with someone you have known. For literally half of one year. I don't blame your sister for being cautious. If you were my sister I would have shaken some sense into you. YTA. Six years older man. Six months total length of relationship. That is throwing red flags all over the place. Your sister is trying to protect you. 
It is possible that your relationship will be okay. But I doubt it. She also told me that Derek and I could date for longer before we got married. This is very valid concern from a sister that wants the best for you. Six months sounds like an awfully short time to already consider someone your soulmate. You both may disagree with her, but this concern is reasonable. She was honest and direct about it instead of telling you exactly what you wanted to hear. And you reply to that by being petty and vengeful not inviting her to your wedding. Mild, soft white TA. Info. What's the rush to get married if you know your soulmates? Y'all remember that scene from Frozen when she got engaged to Hans? This is all I see. We finish each other's sandwich sandwich. I am not discrediting your love for each other. Just use extreme caution and don't mistake red flags location flag location flag for butterflies. Butterfly butterfly. You're not the arsehole if you decide not to invite her after you girls talk again. Find out her reasonings. Remember she has loved you for 24 years. She's just looking out for you. Best of luck. This would confirm your sister's suspicions that you are not mature enough to take such an important decision. She was honest when you asked her directly. And you are behaving like a teenager. YTA. I'm going to tell you this right now. Love is not a feeling. Love is an action. Love is work. Six months into a relationship is not long enough to know that you are ready to put in the work that it will take to maintain it. I've seen too many relationships that start like this and end in flames. Info is Derek in the military? YTA. Your sister is correct. YTA. I do agree that people can know after six months that they have found the person for them but those people would also be mature enough not to permanently shut someone they live out with no chance of redemption because the initial reaction to their engagement isn't unequivocally supportive. Their future spouses would also not encourage them to cut ties with loved ones after a single conversation. YTA. The thing about soulmates is that it doesn't automatically mean a positive thing. We might as well get married and be recognized as soulmates in the eyes of the law. Get your head out of the clouds. Marriage involves more than the idea of love and the idea of soulmates. What are your goals in life? What are Derek's? What about careers? Where will you live and how will you live there? Who will pay the bills and how will they be paid? What about kids? Do you want them? How does Derek feel about children? Can you afford a kid if you do have one? What's the budget going to be and will both of you contribute to it? Do you wish to own your own home someday? Does he? These are only a few questions that should have solid answers before people make a legal commitment. Clearly, your sister knows something about you that has made her withdraw her support from your fast-moving relationship info have you read other stories about people who think they know everything about another person after six months of fun and exciting new relationship you are not mature enough to be married yta edited to add that the reason people wait until later in their relationships to get married is not always because they're not sure they love each other enough to commit it's very often so that they can get a fuller view of each other as people. After six months, how many arguments have you had? Do you know how each other handles conflict? What about a life-altering situation like the death of a family member or a serious illness? Have you had to make any major decisions together about money, where to live, etc.? Big experiences like this tell you a lot about a person and a potential future spouse. On the bright side if things don't work out, you get half his stuff. S. Also YTA. Your sister has valid concerns. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content.
Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.